Hello, so in this tutorial we're going to be using Blender uh, default patterns to create holes and uh, already started with the simple shape. I'm going to be going to edit preferences, let's add ons here and uh, look for the tool or loop tools. Loop tools. Make sure that you enable the option by checking that box here. So I'm going to be doing my, add a couple of inserts here, so Control R and I'll adjust them here. For example, I'll start with 26 here. All right, so the next step is to create a hole here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the faces here. So I'll draw my selection on these here. I'm gonna be quite precise here. So I want the hole to be here in that position. So I'll right click and you find the option, which is the add-on that we enabled now. So mesh tools or loop tools here, all circle. And I'm going to be tweaking that twist uh, angle here, just to get those loops written. There we go. So we got that hole here. So I'm going to do here, I'm going to be selecting the edge mode now. I'm going to select that loop, right click and extrude the edges. I'm going to right click once more, go to right view. I'll enable my scale to now I'll slide that loop down a little bit here to support that circle here. And this is supposed to hold the circle. So I'll go to 7 here top view and I'm gonna on my snap tool extrude now there we go we should uh, press SX0 here to see that border here and now uh, should be good to go so let's go and control R I'm gonna start three loops for just in order to make that circle a little bit more organized so that's it now let's apply subdivision so tap to object mode subdivision and you need three here so Amazing, so that was everything for this lesson here. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction for the add-on in Blender. I'll see you in the next tutorial. And don't forget to drop your questions down in below this video here. I'll answer them and I wish you an amazing day.